Hey guys, back with another Wilderness Factor video, actually. Um, so... Uh, I got this brand new Pelagon. It's a Gamma Swarm Magnum. It's last model, because it has the unshrouded barrel. But this thing throws pellets at 1,300 feet per second. And that's impressive for 22 caliber can see I mean so normally I use just the premier pointy pellets these are 14.3 uh, I just went out and bought some destroyers these are 14.3 and I also saw these the PBA platinums and I kind of wanted to test do they actually shoot faster do they actually do more damage so that's what we're gonna find out today I actually shot a raccoon with this at, well, he was by the chicken coop. We got chickens now. Let's go over there. And the raccoon was trying to get in right here where these little chickens are okay? These are all our meat chickens, the fatties. But he was digging in right here, and I saw him. So I was looking at him, and then I ended up just shooting him right in the back of the head. And it killed him. And here's our other chickens. This is Travis right here. He's a little bantam. And then we got the roosters. And then back there, that little guy, little gold one. His name's Bob. And then there's little pullets. Pretty sure that these are bar rocks, it could be wrong. That's what I think they are. They look like it. But these are black Australorps. And then I forgot what type of bantams these are. I think we think that Bob is a gold laced bantam. But who knows? We have more inside. But these are a little leghorns. They're still babies. These are the commercial egg layers. Those are all egg layers. Uh oh. About to have a fight. <laughs> we also got pigs, but I'll show those later. So we built. If you guys have ever seen that, I don't know if I ever showed the hunting blind I had on our channel. I had a hunting blind right here, so I ended up building it up there, and I still have to finish it, but it looks pretty sweet. So we have our little range right here. Normally I shoot from right by the chicken coop and shoot all the way back there. And then you can see the barrel. Whoops. And then there's another one right there. First, I'm gonna be shooting at this guy. Yeah, so I had a 20 gauge semi-auto shotgun. It was my stepdad's and I kind of pelted the crap out of him. This is gonna replace the squirrel that you've seen many times on the channel. I'm gonna buy more of them, like a diamond chip one, but he's already bent. Remember that squirrel took that 50 cal. I tried to fix him. He didn't fix so well. I was like, I mean, I gotta weld him, but that's about it. So, first of all, let me go back over here. We are going to test out of the Gamma Swarm Magnum. The coolest thing about it is, is it has a 10 shot clip right here. So you press down this button and then this slides right out. And you load it just like that. It has three in it right now. I don't know if it's already cocked. It might be from last night. Nope. All right, so cocks just like a normal brake barrel. But it automatically loads a pellet in with the system. These push it backwards, well upwards, and then it lines up with the breech right here. And then, watch. It's going to flick this number right here. It's on three. Now it's on two. And it snaps close. And by the way, this is a three to nine scope. Most of the time I just use like a uh, seven tower or three power probably gonna use three power and yeah 
This thing went straight through a raccoon's neck, and I shot him. It wasn't bad. I mean, I paid 319 for this. I think it was worth it. I mean, it shoots at the same velocity as an, a rifle, a 22 long rifle. I can show you the crosshairs. Sorry. Just normal duplex crosshairs. Or 30 30 crosshairs, whatever you want to call them. Chickens are coming over here. We just redid the roof on our house, too. All right, enough of the talking. We'll get to shooting. I'll be right back. Let me rig this up. All right, so... First of all, we're going to load this clip up, personally. So I got these. We're going to do these, um... I'd say probably in the middle one. And these ones last. Alright, so there's a side that says load with the pellet going in. So basically you you twist the magazine over using these side pieces over one spot. And then you take your pellet, you put the head in this way. And normally it doesn't go all the way in, so you can use your next pellet to seat it. And it clicks in. And you just keep loading it up. So I can fit 10 plus 1 in the chamber. Or 1 in the breech. Probably shoot two shots of each, see how much it flies back, and then we'll do a penetration test. So here's first up these, and then we're gonna go destroyers and PBA platinum. And then we'll take some longer shots as also. We'll probably take some maybe probably 65 yard shots, maybe 50. Because this thing it can it shoots pretty straight for a pellet gun like my 177 i'd have to aim like a foot above the target to hit at like 50 yards maybe 65 ish yeah because i had a old gasoline tin about this big just like that i hung it up on a tree and i would have to aim like this high in my scope and that was only a four times 32 scope so i mean there wasn't it was pretty tricky shot but I would hit it sometimes then I'd get blown by the wind and yeah these heavier pellets are good for that longer range and I mean when they hit something they make a thud like I could hear it when I hit that raccoon last night it went thud all right so let's get the shooting we're gonna line up that target and yes we are shooting steel so we are quite a ways back so I'll have to put the camera closer to the steel and go from there all right so right here we're gonna see how much it tilts back we're starting off with the pointed pellets if you can see them in there i don't know if you can you can see the little point right there but here it goes i'm gonna back up all right so right here i uh was aiming center mass first shots and then head shots it, the audio was pretty bad because it hit the steel and then it would ring. So that shot right there was center mass of the pointed pellet. And I'm gonna do a follow-up shot with a head shot. That was pointed. And then we're gonna move on to destroyer. Which I had to load these in between. Uh, so that's why it took so long. Well, it is taking so long for me to shoot. And... 
we go center mass and headshot. And it's going to be a destroyer. Then it's going to be the PBA Platinums. And yeah. Like it at least, it sounded like it was going way past. You can tell where those PBA platinums hit. So if you look right there, that's a PBA platinum, and so is this one right here. It looks different than the other ones. This one, that's a little loose. I mean, I'm pretty sure the PBA platinums hit really hard. You can see all the spalting. That. I mean, it's hit it pretty hard. It's still bent. Get this sap coming out of this tree stump. I gotta figure out a way to screw this down better too. So it doesn't lift it up. Alright, so let's try some longer range shots. Alright, so first of all, we're starting off with, see, from the, as you can see, there's six. We're starting off with the pointed, then the uh, destroyer, and then the PVA platinum. We are shooting way down there. I don't know if you guys can see the box. It's way down there. I don't know. It's pretty far. But anyway, so we're going to start off with the opponent pellets. There's a little smiley face on the box. I didn't even cock it. Oh, easier. 
don't know why that first one didn't hit. No, that's the best thing about it. All right, this is the destroyer pellet. That one hit the metal. That one flew weird out the barrel. That's weird. No one hit it that time. All right, last up, PBA Platinums. I've heard a lot of people get inconsistent groupings with these. Because I like the arc. Man, that's loud. Alright, last one. I'll go check it out. Alright, let's go check that out. Alright. Let's head back there, so the box, I don't know if you guys can see it back there, it's down there, it's on top of that barrel. This is where I set up previous shooting ranges. We cut a lot of this down to make room so I could shoot way back there. I don't know, a lot of these seem like they didn't even hit kind of weird. There's one, two, three. And then one of them hit the barrel, which was a destroyer right there. I know a destroyer hit that, so what does that look like? Yeah, I think this was a PVA Platinum. This was a... I don't know, let's see the exit. So here's this exit. Is that exit? That one started the keyhole. It's weird. You draw the silkworms. Never had that problem with that gun before. It could have hit a branch. Too. Could have been lying on them. Some of them didn't hit it. I'm about to say that these two are the PVA Platinums. And this one is the uh, pointed. Alright. Next, we're going to do it where we're going to try to catch a bullet of each one. Uh, I actually have a thing that I made out of Kevlar and it's basically bulletproof armor. I'm going to duct tape it for this and I'm going to shoot it. I originally had this in a pinata. Uh, I took sheet metal from the roof. These are just like the cover pieces that they gave us. I put that in front of it because the 9mm would go right through this. This is airbag. It's I don't know if airbag is Kevlar, but it seems like it because it's really tightly woven. But anyway, what you do is, I don't know, I stopped how many bullets? I have, I've caught nine millimeters in it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is normal 22 long rifle. I stopped it like. In like the first layer. I don't know, there could be more in here. Here's another one. Let's rip these open. Still a little bit wet. Oh, here's another one. If normally if you can stop 9mm, it can probably stop 45 ACP easily. 45 ACPs are bigger and they travel slower. Here's another one. 
stuck in the fabric right here. Right here. This is normally the outer layer that I put on the outside. I'm gonna put all these on the inside. Oh, this one caught, I think, right here. Uh, maybe not. It's Kevlar stuck together. It's, I don't know if it is Kevlar or not, but like I put these. In the so then this would break it up, and the Kevlar would catch it. But anyway, what I do is, is I take this big piece. Take these littler pieces. And I lay them long ways. See, like this piece I just put like right here. I put like this right here. And this over top of it. And this one over top of it. All up. Just like that. And normally what I do is, is I take these, put this over, put this like this, half white, and put this half white. But I'll be right back. I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag and we're gonna put it right way down there where the, I shot it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it is pretty thick. So, I mean, I can compress it down more. Like, I'm gonna go put it back here. And then we're gonna shoot it. I think we're gonna actually put it closer. And then we're gonna that. I was shooting from up there. Try to put it against this log right here. That. And I am right here. Alright, so I'm gonna go back up there. And alright, so once again, we are starting off with the pointed pellets. I stopped this before they stopped pretty close actually. So I'm I don't know about these P PBA Platinum, they might go a little bit deeper than the other pellets, so we're about to find out. Hit. We should be able to tell them differently apart. Hit. Oof. That was a destroyer. That destroyer went low. So we we'll only have one destroyer. Here's a PBA Platinum. I don't even know if that hit it. That one did hit it. Yeah, these PBAs are shooting way higher because how light they are. Because it's sighted in for the heavier pellets. So we'll have two pointed, one destroyer, and one PBA. So let's go see what they look like. Destroyers hit down here. I don't know if they can find it. Probably not. Probably buried itself. Oh, no, here it is. I think one of the 
PBA just went right over the top because I was aiming at the mass. You can see one call it right there. Alright. So sometimes they just fall right out the bottom. Doesn't seem to be. Alright, so here it goes. First layer. No pellets. It's so hard. Second layer. No pellets. Third layer. No pellets. Fourth layer. Oh, here's a PVA platinum. Oh, I just dropped it. That's fifth layer. Here's sixth layer. I don't think they made it this far. I don't know. Let's see if we can just. Oh, yeah. Here's. So here's one of the pointed. Oh no, that's a destroyer. The destroyer hit either right here or right here. And just crumpled it right up. But where did those pointed pellets go? Real question. We're gonna unfold this whole thing. They hit it and just bounce straight out. Hmm. Oh, they lodge right in there. Normally stop on like the first layer. one there, nothing. If you look, you can see one right here. That's stopped. I know both those points of pellets hit the dead center. One of them stuck. I know they didn't go all the way through it. I guess they bounce right back out. That's crazy. Oh, no. Here's one. Oh, maybe no. Look like it. No, oh, no. Here's one. This stopped right in its tracks. This was like... I'm pretty sure this was the second lane. Alright, so that's a pointed. It could have just skimmed the edge, that's why I heard the bag hit. It's probably what happened. It just. Because it went first, and then this is the third layer.
This looks like one. It was one. Actually, it's a piece of metal. Yeah, it is a piece of metal. That's why it does look like one. So you can see all the lead wearing off on this Kevlar. This is the first layer. It probably stopped and fell out of the bag. Or it went straight through the first layer and just came out the side, which could have happened. I've had that happen before, especially with the 9mm. I've not tested a shotgun on this yet, but I think that it would stop everything from a shotgun. Normally if it can stop a 9mm, it can stop really anything that you throw at it besides rifle rounds. Hmm. Well, you can see that the PVA Platinums had way more penetration power. I'm surprised it even did, considering how light they are. I mean, you beat body armor with speed. If you quote, uh, Demolition Ranch. But as you can see, I mean, that one stayed in pretty good condition. Like, you could probably almost fire that out of your gun again. Which I'm surprised. Normally they squish like this. Well, that's it for this video. I mean, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, if you're looking for a lot more damage at longer range, PBA Platinum is the way to go. I didn't think it was going to be correct, though, because, like, I only want more weight. Shoot distances. Well, I'm surprised that it actually went through that many layers. I mean, PBA Platinum... Might have to be the deal now. Might use that for hunting. But I mean, they wanted $14 for 50 That's a little excessive. It went through five layers. Pointed went through two. And at... I mean, that's that far. That's about like... What, 20 yards? Normally, they just sit right there on the top layer. And that's probably what happened, honestly. But guys, let me know if you guys want to see, like, chipmunk hunting videos or more long-range shooting. I mean, I just got a new 22. Can make a video on that. Just let me know. That's the end of this video of the Wilderness Factor.